Hello, and welcome to my brief tutorial on Jigsaw Puzzle, Customize and Create Package. First, make sure you have the Simulate Touch Input from Mouse option enabled in the Input Debug window so you can control the UI. So let's start with the main menu. There is support for Save Load functionality, so when you pause or quit the app, the current puzzle progress will be saved on the device. Second is Categories. That's where you can select a specific puzzle to play. And the last one is settings. Shuffle pieces. Randomizes puzzle pieces location every time game is loaded or started from scratch. Rotate pieces. Rotates puzzle pieces when you click on them. And free snap option. When the puzzle piece is placed in the correct location, it won't need a neighbor to snap to the board. All puzzles have up to three layout options to choose from. The puzzle size limit is from 2x2 two two and up to 100x100 100 100 puzzle pieces. Puzzles can be vertical, horizontal, or plain square. It is best to use 2048 by 2048 textures as they provide the best ratio of image quality to disk space taken. Also make sure you use textures with dimensions that are multiples of two as it enables a compression option. The maximum size of the puzzle texture is as big as the target platform support for is. Now, let's see what the actual gameplay looks like. At the top, we have the progress counter which goes up to a 100%. Filter button. It brings small puzzle pieces to the foreground when pressed. Next, we have the background toggle button, which enables the puzzle background on and off. Last is the back button. At the bottom, we have a pieces panel. You can use it to bring puzzle pieces to the board, put them back, and shuffle them between each other. And the actual gameplay panel can be panned around and zoomed in and out. Each puzzle piece has an adjustable shadow effect under it while dragged around, that tilt in the direction they are moved. Puzzle piece clusters also have configurable shadow effect under them. Puzzle panel support multi-touch, allowing for manipulating multiple puzzle pieces at once. Puzzle pieces have configurable effects when snapped to the board and puzzle cluster. Currently supported effects are glow and pop-out effects. To create a new puzzle, go to the Scriptable Objects folder, right-click Create Jigsaw Puzzle, and select the Create Puzzle Info Asset. This needs a texture first, so let's assign one. And at least one puzzle layout option. Let's create a new one. Right-click Create Jigsaw Puzzle, Create Puzzle Setting. Here you can set the size of the puzzle layout. Let's do 8x8, eight eight, and a list of edge options. You can mix them to get different results. They define what the actual puzzle pieces will look like. Let's create a new one. Select the Create Edge Asset option in the Jigsaw Puzzle menu. Here you can add and modify edge points any way you want. I'm going to add a few new points. You have control over the position of the point left and right control points. Let's do something like this. That's fine. Now we can assign it to the settings file and put the settings file into our puzzle info object. So now this puzzle will have one option to select from. You can also use a special tool to create puzzle info objects in batch. To open it, open the window tab and select the batch create puzzles option. Here you can specify values for each of the three layout options to choose from when creating a puzzle info option. So resulting puzzle will have one layout added from each list. Below is a list of textures to create puzzles from. So when you are done adding the textures, just specify the destination folder. and click Create Info Objects to generate new puzzles. And that's how you can quickly create puzzles for a new category. Let's create a category for them. Go to Create, Jigsaw Puzzle, and Create Category Asset. I'll call it Flowers. To add a new category to the game, Select the Categories Repository object and add it to the list.
So when we start, the flowers category is available to choose from. Thanks for watching.